Welcome to the August 2024 Club Day for Restricted Masters, Heat 1. And I'm starting here in second position on the outside and I actually had to get going straight away because uh, Nan on the inside <coughs> has actually jumped the start, you can see him there. And on his side was Tim who was right behind him, so Tim's gotten through. So I've gone from second on the grid down to third place. Um, and there's nine runners in this field, you can see them all lining up behind us. And I am in my brand new X30 go-kart. Well, I shouldn't say brand new. The chassis is a little bit... It's done a couple of races, and then I bought it near new, basically. And this is my first time racing this thing. So, as you know, I've had a Rotax for three years of my racing career. And uh, this is the first time I've had an X30 to race. So, I'm very excited to see how I'm going to go. And you can tell probably immediately this thing is is very very good on the straights you can see i'm catching up to tim a little bit um whereas with the rotax i always struggled with the straight line speeds and there we go catching up on the brakes as well this chassis is very similar it's a 6.2 instead of a 6 flat um so theoretically it's faster though i've had some setup issues at the moment um for whatever reason i find it really difficult to get into this corner right there and also turning here in the left i'm missing that apex quite badly so you can see Tim's gotten away from me there so still got some work to do on the setup I think but here we are a little bit tighter here and I'm very quick into this section here and especially coming around this last hairpin so I think I'm fairly close to Tim but you just check out this engine it is uh, there we go look at that it's starting to pick up speed already and then you can see Tim's getting a little bit sideways there so I got a good run on in there not only engine power but also because he was sliding and you can see when we're next to each other, we're very, very similar. So, yeah, I also know that he was running a slightly uh, lower ratio, which means that he would get out of the corners a little bit better, and I would be a bit faster on the straights. So you can see in this section here, Tim is really quick, and he's bumping me a little bit because he's uh, wanting me to get going. And I am losing a little bit of ground to Nan up ahead. Now, Nan is not normally at this club. He's normally racing at Todd Road. And you may remember the March Club Day I filmed. He was also in that event. Um, but this is not his home circuit. So, yeah, really nice to have Nan with us because you can see, I mean, he, he banged it on pole for starters and now he's racing off into the distance in front of everybody. So he's a very, very, very quick driver. But we actually have the exact same setup because I have a 6.2 and he has a 6.2 and we both have the X30 engine as well. So... I feel a little bit more complete as a driver now, having the proper machinery, the same as everybody else pretty much. So I'm excited to see how we're going to go. And you can see now I'm starting to pull away from Tim a little bit and edging up to Nan just a little bit. Still getting over, tr having, trying to get over that curb but really struggling. And coming out of there, I tell you what, the X30 is a lot better coming out of that corner than the Rotax was. The Rotax would normally kick in power about now, but um, was very good in the infield. Four laps to go, and you can see this is my uh, father doing a, a shot from the side. You can see we're all pretty evenly spaced out there. And Nan's starting to run into the people at the back of medium because we run two classes in this um, in this particular race. And uh, these guys have got not bad chassis probably, but it looks like the engines are very, very slow and they're also new to karting too. So um, we kind of come through them like a swarm of bees. Now, I didn't want to chance it there, but you just watch this. Coming out of the corner, my, my new engine has just got way more power than his has and straight past. So that was good, I managed to catch him at a part that I didn't get hang hold up too much. 
And he can see the long shot coming into the first corner. Really trying to catch it, catch up to Nan on the brakes, but just slightly. And you can see Tim is still there, just a second behind, possibly. Yep, really trying to get in there. I've noticed I'm having a lot of understeer with this card at the moment, especially in this section here. So this is something I need to work on to get a little bit faster. I should be going over that curb there on the left-hand side. And then coming up over this little hill, it very uh, oversteery there. But he's up behind someone, I think. So this is going to help us a little bit. And you can see he's really having to get out of the power there because they've completely blocked him. And I've had to go up the inside here, had to get off the power a bit. But we're definitely closer. And you can see he's having to go a really tight line because that guy is very close to him. And I managed to duck around the outside. So that was fortunate. I managed to gain a lot more ground on Nan here. So quite a bit closer. But then I hit the curb there. And then coming in here. Oh, not too bad. But he's still getting away from me a little bit. I think I'm going too wide there. You can just see how violent it is coming into that corner. And you can see here, he's already got a couple of cart lengths on me. So I haven't done a good job since getting the advantage of, of getting through the back markers a bit. Fortunately though, it looks like Tim has been um, held up as well. So that's given me a bit of space from behind. And there we go. Just oh, maybe a quarter of a second or half a second behind Nan there. Pretty close. Still not close enough though, need to get a little bit closer. Got to be very tight in this section here. See I'm getting a bit of oversteer into that corner. And you can see Nan's going over the curb on the inside there, but I've been trying to steer clear of it because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get caught on it, but I think I'm probably taking a little bit too much racetrack. And there again, I'm still not going over the curb there, so that's something I need to work on for heat two. I think I'm a, a fraction closer to him on this lap. Totally flat through there, just trying to keep this tidy, and that's the last lap. Man, that was fast, so 